What's up? This your young boy, Young J Perk of J Perk Productions, and look what I got. This is the Canon 6D, and I got this in January 2013, and let's do a review on it. So this is the Canon 6D. I got it January, like I said before. Um, this is what 20.1 or 20.2 megapixels, something like that. Um, this is a full frame, which means it's a 35 millimeter sensor, and this is how it looks. This is just a mirror but you see how big it is compared to your APS-C size so you see that that's much bigger um, 6D this is the body is relatively small um, this is cool like I couldn't personally see myself just shooting with the uh, 6D I have so much room right here left and my hand just feels like it's just falling off you know so I just couldn't do that um, got this at 19.99 in January and on the back we have some buttons we have a movie button AF on button. We have the two little toggles, uh, Q, and all these little buttons. We have the cool little wheel. It's a nice little wheel. I use that a lot to cycle through photographs really quickly. And overall, this is uh, more robust than my T2i. It feels much better in the hand. I like these this grip. I like this plastic carbonate, whatever they make it out of. It's, it's really nice. Um, I love this top screen. This is my first DSLR with the top screen. So you got the ISO the metering, the lamp. I can actually turn this on. Let's put the battery grip on that because I'm so used to using the battery grip. And the battery grip does not come with the camera. You have to get this for additional fee, but it just makes the camera so much better. So I turn it on. We have the lamp right here. Uh, we have the ISO toggle, the meter, the drive, and this has silent mode, so I can shoot silently. And I can also shoot like regular. And this does about 4.5 frames a second. Um, nothing too spectacular, but I'm not one to just, you know, hold it down like this. And like, that's not what I do. Um, I like to capture the moment. I like to see the moment. I like to predict the moment and just make it happen. Um, from there, you have the AF. You have the nice. The the buttons feel really nice and smooth, and they have little gaskets in there, so it's weather sealed to an extent. I don't think it's 1DX or 5D Mark III weather sealing, but it's weather sealing nonetheless. So, in a little bit of rain, something like that, it can definitely handle it. And to say my T2I took it out in rain, drenching, pouring rain with the 2414, which is on there now, they both work like amazing little champs. So, if this is the same, it should work up slightly better. So, this also has GPS and Wi Fi built into this top part, I guess. No pop up flash. I'm not really a flash guy, but no pop up flash and stuff like that the full frame gives me the, the cool capability of low light so I love the low light I love raising my ISO all the way up to like 5,600 and shooting this gives me a lot of flexibility for creating amazing images in low light in all types of different situations whether I need a fast shutter speed to freeze from rain I need to go to ISO 6400 I got a clean image so the full frame gives me that um, I wanted a more robust body like I was telling you before how the body feels really good it feels fuller and if I hold it like this you see my part of my hand is still connected to the body and I love that fullness I love that grip and I just hold it and I just feel one with the camera and I really enjoy this camera it's not too much I can really say I just wanted to get this out here like a review of this new camera that I bought my forte my step into the full frame world to use my 24 it has the same field of view as the actual 24 I use my 85 and my 100 and my 50 millimeter as their true focal lengths and if true field of views, that's what I really want to get into. I want to have amazing image quality. And I, I thought it was a great step up from the T2i. The T2i was a great starting point for me. But the 6D really is going to take it to the next level. It's going to give me the flexibility of shooting with two cameras also. And I love the Canon system. I have a few lenses right here that I showed you in my previous video. What's in my camera bag. And this is great. So if you have any questions on the 6D, um, the features and stuff like that or how it performs in real world applications what is it like is it worth the money should I get this over another camera definitely leave those in the comments I'll be more than happy to answer those but now we're gonna go like we're gonna do a up close and personal so I'm gonna get a little closer to 60 I'm just gonna show you all the buttons and how it actually looks so if you're planning on getting one if you plan on using the second camera you can see what it looks like you know through the video like boom I show you this part I show you that part so here goes the next part 
Okay, I'm back for part two, and this is the 6D right here. I'm recording this with the Canon T2i and um, with the 2414. So let's go over. So this is how the front looks. The little, it's a little nice up here. Um, we got the name ER60, the lens uh, body cap and stuff like that. Go over towards the back. We can actually make this print slow up for us. So we have, you know, um, just the wheel. Like I was saying before, the wheel is nice. I like that. I got directional, we have the set, just some different um, buttons. We have the memory card slot, which is SD only, one SD card. We have so it's a lot of different things we can try with this. Just a lot of menu buttons and things like that. And on the top, we have a nice top screen I was telling you about where to turn this on. And you can see, you know, the detail of the information at the bottom. And this right here, this is the um, mode dial. A lot of different modes on here we can choose from. From always stay on manual, but you have manual, aperture priority, shutter priority, program mode, intelligent auto, some scene type of thing. Some no, this is creative auto, some scene type of thing. The two um, got these are called, but like functions, you can set how you want to set up and switch between the two really quickly. Bulb mode for exposures, control exposures, but preferably for exposures over 30 seconds, and manual mode again. This is what I really stay in most of the time, manual. And this is the, um, let me show you what it looks like without this battery grip on now. So it's relatively small without the battery grip. So this has been the Canon 60 review. It's a great camera. I really enjoyed this camera. I'm glad I purchased it. Although it has 11 autofocus points and sometimes those get annoying when I'm just trying to choose a, a particular one to use as my main focus point to focus on my object. I really enjoy this camera. I think it's a great step up from a T2i or APS-C size sensor if you don't want to spend a crap load of money. If you don't shoot crazy things like sports where you need the autofocus to be simply stunning, this is pretty good. The one in the middle is simply exceptional. Um, a great camera, great value, and they I think they have a sale going on now with this. But um, this is the Canon 60 review. Like I said before, if you have any questions or anything like that, concerns, you want to know about this camera for if you want to get it, definitely leave me a comment below, and I'll definitely answer that comment and nice reply. So hit me up, and also um, I shoot photo shoots, music videos, and things like that. So if you have a music video you want to get shot and you're in the Baltimore area, definitely hit me up. Email's in there too, that's in the description. And we'll go from there. So this has been a young boy, young J Perk of J Perk Productions, and this has been a 6D review.